Welcome to this thing of me talking and you listening. I appreciate you listening. Uh, today I'm gonna just babble on about um, poor arguments. Oh, it aggravates me so much. By the way, this is uh, from filmsbychris.com, Chris the K, and I am Chris. And I like to complain about stuff, and so that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, I hope you stick around and listen, and uh, tell me whether you agree or disagree. But um, I, I am an argumentative person. I also have a pretty short temper. And I have gotten into shouting matches with people at times. And um, lots of times it isn't even the person's argument that what they... The difference of view, it's their argument. <laughs> Poor arguments drive me crazy. Um, I hate when I agree with someone, but their reason for their view is stupid. <laughs> and, I mean, they might have the right um, thought, but their argument for it is completely wrong. And one of the arguments I've had with a number of people is just over computer stuff in general. And uh, one of the arguments that people have given me when I tell them, oh, they... Yeah, they really should try Linux, or they shouldn't use this piece of software, they should use this piece of software. Or, for example, I had an argument with a friend over whether iPhones are really easier to use than an Android or any other device. And my argument is, not really. Uh, their regular usage is about the same, and actually, if you want to do anything useful, even, even not even advanced, but getting into settings on an, on an iPhone, for example, one day I was trying I was trying to help a friend with his, with his uh, web browser, and we're trying to change some settings in the web browser, and I'm in the web browser, and I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm like, where's the settings? I'm reading online. It says, go into the settings for, for Safari or Chrome or whatever web browser. I think we were looking into both, trying to get it to, to enable some sort of functionality. And I, I can't figure it out. And so finally, I'm, I, you wouldn't think I would have to Google it. You know, on a regular computer, you click on the menu, you go to preferences or settings. On an Android phone, you click on the little menu button. There's usually a settings button. You go into settings. On an iPhone, it is not like that. You have to exit out of that application, go to the system settings, go to applications, scroll through the list of applications so you find the, the program, the app, the app that you want to uh, change the settings for in the long list of all the, the apps on your phone, and then you're in the settings for that application. For the most part, computer usage is pretty easy. Click or type something and something happens. And uh, my argument isn't even that an Android phone would be easier than an iPhone. Although in aspects like that, the difficultness is how many steps does it take? That, that was like a five or six step exiting out of the program, going into something else, blah, 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 rather than just clicking settings and you're in setting, you know, menu settings. Um, so that was a whole other little rant uh, about, you know, people saying things they, they just been, have been told a number of times. Oh, iPhones are easier to use, and they're, they're really not. Um, but his argument was that they were easier. I kept saying, tell me how. They just are, was what he kept saying to me. I go, explain to me. You pull out your iPhone. I'll pull out my... Oh, well, they're probably about the same now, but when the iPhone came out, first came out, it was a lot easier to use. I go, it's the same exact, you know way computers have been used since Windows 3.1. There's an icon, you click on it, it opens application, you click on stuff in the application, uh, was my argument. And so his argument was, was just kind of, he didn't have an argument other than he had a thought. And then his argument changed into, Chris, you don't understand because you're good with computers. I'm not, so I have to use something like this which is just a horrible argument. If your argument is, one, you know more than I do on this subject, so therefore you are wrong, <laughs> you just lost the argument. When you're telling me I, that I, I know more about this subject than you, but I'm wrong because I know more about the subject than you. But also the fact that if I know a lot about computers, I'm not going to pick the harder way to do something. I might do more advanced things to you that might seem harder than you. But when it comes to doing the same task, I am not going to do it a harder way. Nobody who is good with computers, who is tech savvy, if you want to call it that, it's someone who's tech savvy is not going to purposely do things on a regular basis the harder way. Uh, you know, so we got into this big argument and it wasn't even, for me, it wasn't even uh, the whole iPhone versus the Android thing 
once we started getting into the conversation, I started getting upset because his argument was so bad and he just wasn't seeing it. How can you, how can you go and tell somebody you're wrong about this because you know more about me on it? Such a horrible, horrible argument. And I hate bad arguments. I don't mind arguing. I don't like being proven I'm wrong. It means I learned something new today. And I'm not just saying that. My best friend James, who has been on, on my YouTube channel uh, you know, a handful of times, he doesn't live near me. In fact, he just moved further away. He used to be two hours away. Then he moved three hours away. And now he's in Colorado. So he's three days away if I drive nonstop. <laughs> he, he is a very, very smart man. He is very knowledgeable. We, we complement each other very well when it comes to computers. Uh, you know, I know a very, little bit about C, but he knows a lot about C programming. Uh, he is big into physics, and he's done uh, written computer simulations to simulate molecules, blah, 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 stuff that's way over my head. He is a very bright man, and me and him can argue on subjects. And we're not mad at each other. We're, I don't get mad with him because his arguments are usually pretty good. We can argue about something for 45 minutes, an hour, and I think we both enjoy it. And I tell you what, I'd say he proves me wrong more than 50% of the time. I'm so happy when I prove him wrong. You know, and sometimes we agree to that we are, you know, lots of times it comes down to we're both right from different aspects depending on certain scenarios. But I would say, I would have to say more than 50% of the time, he's right and I'm wrong and I come around to seeing his, because he has a good argument, because he has good arguments. Not just because he's right, you can be right all you want, but if you don't know why you're right and you can't explain why you're right, it doesn't matter that you're right when you're talking to somebody. I mean, you're still right, but you're not going to get that across to somebody. Uh, and that's one of the issues I have when I talk to people about computers is, like, let's say I want to try to get someone to switch to Linux. Uh, it's, it's difficult because to me, I just point out the facts. Look, here's a computer from 15 years ago, 20 years ago. I can run a current modern version of Linux on here. And yeah, it's not the fast machine in the world, but it works. Try doing that with Windows. Okay, so I just proved that Linux is um, more efficient. Okay, it's like now I can talk about Okay, now try to move all your settings from a Windows machine to a new machine without having to clone the whole hard drive, which really isn't going to work because Windows is going to tell you that there's new hardware and it won't boot and you have to recertify or whatever they do nowadays when you put in new hardware to prevent you from copying it. Linux, I can just pull out the hard drive, put in a new machine, or clone the, the hard drive and put it in a new machine, and it will most likely boot up fine. But even if it's a whole new machine and a brand new install, I can copy all my settings are plain text files most of the time in my home directory. I can just copy it to a new system. Or if I have two computers, I can have it you know, synchronized back and forth with ease, without any complications. It's super easy. Try doing that with the Windows registry. Yeah, you can export stuff and import stuff, but it's just, just one big blob of a, uh, of a, a database, and it's just a mess. You know, that might be over a lot of people's head, but that's that's my and these are valid points thing is a lot of people aren't persuaded by facts uh they want you to be nice and oh see my point of view and then maybe i'll come over to but that's you watch videos on uh, winning arguments uh and getting people to see your point of view and the thing is you need to they always say you know look at their point point out valid points of that part that way they feel confident and then they might, are more likely to listen to you when i talk to people and this isn't good, and this is just how I am. And it's great that there's people out there who are probably better at talking to people and getting them switched over, uh, or whatever the argument is. For me, it's like, I'm not here to win you over. I'm here to tell you the facts. Because uh, I don't care about opinions when it comes to computers. You know, opinions are, what background uh, do you want uh, on your desktop? Do you want your toolbar at the top of the screen, bottom of the screen? Do you want it hidden most of the time? Those are those are opinions. And you might be able to get into a little bit of argument over which is more efficient. Um, like you look at Mac operating systems, and it has the one toolbar for all applications, and whatever application you're clicked in, the toolbar now changes to that. Um, that's a matter of opinion. If you like that, you like that. I would argue that it is less efficient, uh, but in such a minuscule way, in that um, let's say I have two windows open and I want to go to file 
edit or something or file open on one of them. If you have a separate toolbar in both of them, I just go straight to that and click file and go down to open. Where with my little experience of using the Mac interface, um, the Apple interface, whatever you want to call it, uh, I, you have to click on the window, then go up to the top of the screen to file. And then if you want to go to the other program, you got to go click on that. So it adds that extra step of having to click on the application. But in reality, um, and I actually said that to a guy at an Apple store once uh, who worked there, and his response would be pretty much what my response would be as well. I, I use keyboard shortcuts, which is really the best way to do it. So, so but it's a matter of opinion whether you like your, your close, maximize, and minimize buttons on the right side of your window or the left side of your window. Those are opinions. And if there's any technical one is better than the other, it's going to be minuscule. I personally don't have a toolbar on any of my windows. I use i3 Window Manager, and I don't have any borders on my windows and X's to minimize because it's a tiling window manager. I use keyboard shortcuts. Anyway, all I'm saying is if you're going to have a point of view on something, make sure you thought it out and you have a decent argument. And some people are just bad at expressing their thoughts. I know sometimes I can get very, uh, as I said, I, I have a temper. I get very frustrated when I get angry, and 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 I, I hard, it's hard for me to get out what I'm trying to say. But at least I'll have an argument. And again, that one time I had, a, and the friend I had the argument with, uh, me and him are actually on very good terms. There were other people in the room who uh, don't like talking to me because I got so angry with him. They weren't even part of the argument <laughs> and they want nothing to do with me, which I'm fine with. But um, uh, just think about your argument and think, do I really believe what I believe or do I believe what I believe because I was told to believe this by some fun commercial by some company that doesn't care about me? At least that was the issue in that particular argument. There's other arguments too, but uh, just have a good argument. Anyway, thank you for listening to me. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris Decay. There's a link in the description of the video, or if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching, listening to this on somewhere else, uh, filmsbychris.com, Chris Decay. Uh, also, check out patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Uh, I appreciate any support you got for me, you have for me. Let's use proper English, and I hope that you have a great day.